Hello everyone, this is Chloe again from Cousin DIY. This is our follow-up project to our pom-pom tutorial last week. And this is what we're going to make. It is a pom-pom pillow. It has 20 pom-poms on one side. On the other side, we have an iron-on patch that says the snuggle is too real. And we used two 12 by 16 inch pieces of fabric and some stuffing. You'll also need a sewing machine. The first step is to pin your two pieces of fabric together with the right sides facing in. And you're going to pin both long sides and one of the short sides. Using a one half inch seam allowance, we're gonna go ahead and stitch these together. Because of the way I pinned this, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the other side before I stitch the short side. Okay. I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm just going to start stitching the other short side about two inches in on each end and then I'm going to leave a pocket open for the stuffing. Okay, now we'll trim all our our threads, our tails. Not that it'll matter much because they're gonna end up on the inside. Uh, the next step is we will be flipping this inside out and we will be ironing that decal on one side of the pillow. So I'm uh, gonna take a short break turn on my iron and move my sewing machine aside. We'll be right back. The next step is to iron on our decal. As the instructions say, I turn the iron on to the wool setting. But first, I'm just going to quickly iron both sides to get any wrinkles out. before I turn it inside out. So the right side of the fabric. Will be facing out. So start like this. At this point, I find it can be helpful to take a ruler or some other square edge and just slide it down into the corners so you're defining the seam on the edge. One more to go. Try to get those corners nice and square. Now we're ready to iron on the decal. We take the decal, center our decal in what will be the middle of this side 
of the pillow. If you want, you can measure. Taking into consideration the seam allowance that we're going to continue to close up on this one end. Now, we're going to press our iron down onto the decal. We're not going to move the iron back and forth. We're going to make sure that the ink side is facing up with the plastic covering over it. We're going to press approximately eight to 10 seconds. And then you can start lifting, testing it to see if the fabric took the decal. If not, you can, and it's coming off nicely. There. So now we have the decal successfully ironed on to one side of the pillow. The next step is to stuff our pillow with fiber fill. I'm going to open up that pocket. Start taking clumps of fiber fill and fill the pillow. Start filling the pillow. You want to push the fiber fill. You don't want to take real huge clumps. You want to push the fiber fill down into the corners and fill it until it reaches the plumpness that you'd like. Now, we started partially stitching each end of this last side of the pillow, or each side of this end of the pillow. At this point, I'm going to pin Fold that in and I'm going to pin, start pinning. Turn that seam under on both sides, pin the two sides together and we're going to stitch right along when we're done. So, oops, that pin. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this together. And then the last step for uh, the sewing part will be to stitch along that with our sewing machine. The next step is to set up the sewing machine. I'll be right back. Next, we're gonna stitch the two edges together, starting at each end even though we had anchored those ends uh, previously to help hold the pillow together when we were stuffing it and we wanted to form the nice square corners. And we're going to try to stitch as close as we can Instead of a one half inch seam allowance, it's going to be more like an eighth of an inch, maybe even less if you're able to get closer, but still sew both sides together. We want it to blend in as best as possible with the other three sides of the pillow. Yeah, that looks good.
cut the tails. There we have it. Looking pretty good so far. Now I'm going to take a minute, set my sewing machine aside, and the last step is going to be to glue on all of our pom-poms with fabric glue. I'll be right back. The last step is to glue our pre-made pom-poms onto the reverse side of the decal of, on the pillow. So I have pre-made 20 pom-poms, two different combinations of colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger the colors, kind of like the blue and the orange and the blue and the orange. And I find that four fits pretty well in a row, five rows of four. And then when I get to the next row, I'm going to stagger and I'll put the orange where the blue and gray was, etc. So I'll show you how to glue on your first pom-pom. We're going to start on one side. What I found was it's very helpful to keep the tails of the tying cord on to help you determine the bottom part of the pom-pom. And you're going to want to spread the glue all the way around the base so that you get a good anchor to anchor that pom-pom securely onto the pillow. Fabric glue tends to be very thick, so I'm going to cut the nozzle way down. You have to be patient while it works its way down. Make sure your tails are out and then we're going to make sure we're catching the middle and a radius around the middle of the yarns. That should be good. And push. Next, we'll do the opposite color. We're gonna do alternating rows, four in a row, five rows down the length of the pillow. We'll cut the tails off after. Now that we've got them all glued on, we can carefully trim those tails. I think this would be a great project for children, like between the ages of seven, eight, and 12 or 13. It's something you can start and stop. You can take days to make the pom-poms if you want. You can choose colors of fabric and yarn to match their favorites or their favorite colors or their room decor. And with the youngers, uh, with the younger ages, of course, they need some adult supervision. But I think it would give them a great sense of accomplishment at the end. You can help them with the sewing machine. 
You could even stitch by hand all the way around. You wouldn't have to use a sewing machine. There's our pillow. The snuggle is real. If you choose to make a pom-pom pillow or any other project using pom-poms, we'd love for you to share it on Instagram at hashtag create with cousin. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you have fun making pom-poms. See you again. Take care. Bye.